What's up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. We got another one coming at you today. This one's Mr. Beast versus Russian Copycat. So I'm really familiar with Mr. Beast. Not sh Don't know a whole lot about Russian Copycat, but let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Here we go. Takes my thumbnails and photoshops his face on mine. Creativity at its best. Oh my god, lol. He should photoshop his face onto this for his next thumbnail. You hate to see it. That's actually weird, lol. He talks about quality of the content. He literally steals all his ideas from American slash UK YouTubers. Shameless. Oh wow. YouTubers always copy other YouTubers. That's an unavoidable fact. In fact, I'll even admit that the idea for this video was taken by another popular YouTuber, Loaf, who's already posted an excellent video on the topic. Taking an idea from another content creator seems to be somewhat appropriate when you add your own spin to it, give it your own title, thumbnail, and present the content in a slightly different way. The issue yeah. is it can be almost impossible to differentiate between seeking inspiration from another creator and completely copying their video or idea. Where is is the line. It's an issue that came into contention approximately four months ago when Mr. Beast would post a tweet stating, the largest channel in Russia just takes my thumbnails and photoshops his face on mine. Which has since opened up a massive can of worms for this Russian channel, who seems to not only steal numerous aspects of Mr. And they're Beast's getting videos, but additionally many other large English speaking creators, remarketing it to a non-English speaking audience who may not be completely aware of the creators from which the content is being stolen. That's the kind channel of in stuff. question goes by the name of A4 run by 25 year old Vlad Bumaga. The 31 million subscribers accumulated on the channel makes it the biggest in its country of origin, Belarus, having almost four times the second yeah, most subscribed channel insane. in the country, which has only 8 million subscribers. Just to really hammer home how big this channel truly is, it actually gains more views than Mr. Beast on average, having gained 5.89 billion views in the last 12 months, as opposed to Jimmy's 5.32 billion. You could make the argument that Jimmy posts less frequently and therefore it's not a fair comparison, but regardless, this Belarusian channel is absolutely enormous. So Mr. Beast the fact that you wouldn't expect a response from him maybe when once a month, anything, sometimes it's especially even longer not than that. criticizing him. However, this wasn't the case. A4 would respond to Mr. Beast's Twitter call out specifically on an Instagram story. One Twitter user translated the response to one picture, pff, it's nothing. Better to watch the quality of my content than the American. I do it 10,000 times better. Pick takes 10 minutes, filming four to 10 hours without editing and planning. Sweet dreams, tomorrow's a new video, and pay attention to quality. This caused instant backlash against A4 because he clearly hadn't only taken one picture as mentioned. I mean, just for starters, the tweet posted by Mr. Beast showcased four different thumbnails that A4 had copied. Bruh, one thumbnail? More like all of them. A4 would also receive backlash for his arrogance towards the whole situation, stating that his content was 10,000 times better than Mr. Beast's, and that people should pay attention to the apparent quality of his videos, despite the fact that they were completely scripted and filmed on a set. Now, with pistol, I'm going to be the main on this island. Влад, ты чё? Это не пистолет, это сигнальная ракета. Нет, давай лучше это у меня побудет. Нет, у меня... А! says I do it 10,000 times better, also does a 24 hour island video on an island set. I'm ashamed of him. This idiot, instead of apologizing or at least keeping silent, started talking about quality content that he never had. This clown only That's dishonors ridiculous. our country and his YouTube colleagues. Ah, so he's also a douchebag about it. To the credit of A4, having the video scripted and filmed on a set did make the content itself slightly different from Mr. Beast's. It would have been even worse if it was actually filmed on an island in a similar style to Mr. Beast. This is a dessert island with zero inhabitants and we're gonna spend 24 hours straight here which would have made it just a blatant copy however it wasn't like there weren't similarities between the videos take for example a4's last to leave the spinning door gets a thousand dollars challenge then put it next to mr beast's last to leave the revolving door wins fifty thousand dollars video including the thumbnail being basically identical and the title being similar the content itself was almost a carbon copy the set was pretty damn similar to mr beast's the challenges within the video were clearly a ripoff make a goal you win a thousand Thousand dollars. Do it on your next time around. Come on, Taylor. You can at least do this. 
Depending on how long you've been walking around that circle, that could be really easy or really hard. While the editing style and pacing of the video was almost indistinguishable from Mr. Beast, overall being somewhat damning for A4's reputation, Twitter users would then make another discovery in relation to this copycat creator. A4 hadn't only been copying Mr. Beast's thumbnails, titles, and content, but also his merchandise. Bro, they even copy your merch. The photo displayed an individual rocking a piece of A4 merch, done oh, wow. in a very similar style to Mr. Beast's Frosted Beast Yum Yum Yellow hoodie, prompting further outrage from Mr. Beast's fan base. So basically, another morgues, but this one's worse. The other yeah, that's, that's kind of scummy, bro. It also seemed to be a copy of rap group Odd Future's incredibly popular OF Melting Donut design launched back in 2012, which was noticed by a few other Twitter users. This also reminds me a lot of Odd Future merch as well. I mean, to be fair, it's not an uncommon style. Oh, it's totally just Odd Future. The Russian guy is just a copy of a copy, indicating that perhaps both Mr. Beast and A4 had copied Odd Future's original merch idea. Regardless, what this seemed to show was that A4 was not limited to copy only Mr. So, like, Beast Mr. Beast doing it, Who else had he's A4 taking inspiration copy? from, like, something well, totally different that another channel with from a rap group, whereas this man is copying literally step by step. One example is a video titled 12 Ways to Sneak Snacks into College, posted by Troom Troom, which will be copied by A4 in a video titled 12 Ways to Sneak Sweets into School. However, I think we can give A4 a pass here. The title was clearly a ripoff, but the thumbnail had been recreated originally, plus the content within the A4 video was fairly different from the content within the Troom Troom video. However, A4 certainly doesn't get a pass for copying another creator with 4.95 million subscribers. Yo, this man, this man is questionable. This seems kind of scummy. Like, I don't know, I could be wrong, but like, it, it seems kind of scummy. Tweet stating, Welcome to the club. Also tweeting at YouTube with the assumed goal of having the channel reprimanded. Dustin's thumbnails had received a similar treatment to Mr. Beast's, literally being the yeah, same they thumbnail look with a new the face photoshopped over the top. Dustin would then go on to tweet It's literally the exact same property and this should be considered copyright. And it's not like Dustin was the only one with this opinion. Many other Twitter users shared a similar opinion towards the matter. Surely this is just insta-bannable. Why does YouTube allow stuff like this? At what point can Mr. Beast take legal? legal action for copying his stuff. However, the general consensus from a bunch of people who we can assume know nothing about the legal system, including myself, seems to be that copyright laws get a bit murky when you're dealing on an international level. And this whole murky cross-border copyright problem isn't purely exclusive to A4 and Mr. Beast. Many other creators have had a similar problem with international YouTube channels blatantly ripping off their content. A creator by the name of Skip the Tutorial would respond to the tweet stating, I recently had this happen with the Spanish channel Manu Manu. It's crazy how many foreign creators just take popular English content and repack Package slash translate it, sometimes verbatim. Hilariously, since this tweet was posted, Manu Manu has changed his thumbnail to something slightly more original. But what is still in question is the content itself. If you play the video side by side and change the editing a little bit, they're basically the exact same thing. 29 Minecraft things you might be doing wrong. In Minecraft, there's plenty of different ways to solve your problem, which means that sometimes you might be doing the least effective option without even knowing it. So today, let's fix that and solve the Minecraft everyday activities that you've been doing wrong. And hey, the YouTube zombie bet me that it's impossible to subscribe to the channel before they turn back into a villager. So The problem seems to be that those from the English side of YouTube never get recommended anything from the Spanish side of YouTube, so there's really not a single person in the comments talking about how the whole video is just a blatant copy of Skip the Tutorials. And you might also say that this is yeah. worse plagiarism than A4 and Mr. Beast, because not only does Manu Manu copy the title and thumbnail, he also copies the content within the videos almost identically. But at least Manu Manu actually delivers on what is offered in the title, as does Mr. Beast. But going back to A4, what is stated in his titles rarely eventuates within the videos. Take for example Mr. Beast's first to take your hand off the car challenge, then compare it to A4's ripoff video titled, the last one to let go off the hand will get Lamborghini challenge. In Mr. Beast's video, Chris ends up winning. No one else is touching the car but Chris, which means Chris is the winner, Chris. The winner. And gets the opportunity to be given a $20,000 Lamborghini by Mr. Beast. Instead of getting the Lamborghini, I wanted to take the 20 grand and split it between the other guys in the video who lost. Then take A4's video which specifically states we'll get Lamborghini in the title. Someone does go on to win the A4 challenge. Uh, <laughs> uh, but what do they get? Well, a ride in a Lamborghini. <laughs>
A4 just offers underwhelming prizes in comparison to Mr. Beast, also lying in his title to attract more viewers. A ride in a Lamborghini as opposed to an actual Lamborghini. A $1,000 revolving door challenge as opposed to a $50,000 revolving door challenge. $50,000 extreme hide and seek challenge versus, well, $0 hide and seek challenge. But considering A4's videos still get millions of views, perhaps it shows that people are more interested in the challenge itself rather than the prize money being offered. However, I can't exactly imagine Mr. Beast would remain as the respected creator he is at the moment if he suddenly started offering a thousand dollars per video. However, it does seem like there has been some justice done towards A4 ever since Mr. Beast made the tweet. The top comment when on Mr. A4's Beast does his homework, A4 Mr. copies his homework. Mom, can we get Mr. Beast? No, son, we have Mr. Beast at home. Mr. Beast at home. This guy needs to get his own content and not stealing from other people. This guy needs to get a big L. Okay, Mr. Beast needs to come here for a quick minute and preach some words about copyright. However, the problem here is that English comments seem to be filtered to the top for English speakers, and the quantity of Russians and Belarusians oblivious to the copied nature of the videos far outweighs the amount of English comments who are aware that the video isn't exactly an original idea. And perhaps the publicity from the event has actually been a benefit for A4, because while everyone has been berating him for the stolen content, he's also had some of the best months ever on the YouTube platform. Which is absolutely insane. At the same time, insane. while it's never nice to have someone copy your thumbnail, the whole saga appears to be much more of a positive for Mr. Beast than a negative. Someone taking a thumbnail, especially from a different country, isn't really going to make people less likely to click on Mr. Beast's videos. In fact, if anything, it might make it more likely considering new viewers may feel more comfortable when presented with his thumbnails. Mr. Beast has also received pretty good media attention from the whole incident and overall has been painted as the good guy, while A4 has been painted as the bad guy. And it's well deserved. He is the bad guy. That was kind of crazy. It's interesting to see that side of like YouTube and stuff and like, because I didn't know about the Russian copycat A4. I definitely won't be watching any of this content. I mean, Mr. Beast puts in a lot of time and a lot of effort into a lot of his videos. I personally really enjoy watching Mr. Beast's videos. Uh, yeah, you guys tell me what you think. That's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.